This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a toolkit for all YouTubers alike. With advanced metrics and functionality within YouTube itself, including things like bulk syndication and other bulk updating tools, TubeBuddy is the best video manager for you. Want to try it yourself? Click the link down below to get a free trial. Also consider signing up for Talency, with TubeBuddy Pro included. So when AMD released their Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 APU lineup, I was honestly very excited. A lot of us budget gamers out there were struggling really hard with not being able to get new PCs or just upgrade their systems in general because of the GPU mining craze. With the release of these APUs, at least people who were trying to get into PC gaming could have an option to upgrade to something temporarily and run on pretty solid integrated graphics at an affordable price, right? Well, that was the case until we figured out that RAM pricing still sucked. Yeah, it still sucks pretty bad. So the value of the Ryzen APU lineup is kind of up in the air. Is it worth spending the extra money on high-end RAM, which is almost required to get the most performance out of a Ryzen APU system? Or are you better off just biting the bullet and just buying a full system as is? Well, now I actually have a recommendation for you all. I reached out to a company called Computer Upgrade King and they sent over their pre-built system. Meet the Axiom TS, a small form factor Ryzen 3 2200G base system. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right guys, so the Axiom TS, which I have open for you right now, is a small form factor PC featuring the Ryzen 3 2200G, but it can also feature the Ryzen 5 2400G. This is a customizable PC that you can put together on their website. If you wanna see the full product page, check the link in the description down below to follow along while I do this video. The model I have right here rocks the Ryzen 3 2200G and eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And you know what's actually kind of surprising? This thing comes in at a price point of only $439. So for $439, what are you getting? Well, as mentioned, you get the CPU and RAM of choice, which is all just off the shelf parts. You have some G-Skill memory right here at 2400 megahertz with two DIMMs, which is very important with the Ryzen APUs. Some testing has shown going from single channel to dual channel really improves the performance. Just running on single channel theoretically cuts the performance in half, considering how the Ryzen APUs rely on physical desktop memory for VRAM. Now you can opt for the Ryzen 5 2400G and pay a price tag of $500, which again is still a very fair price for a good step up in performance. In this video, we're gonna just be focusing on the Ryzen 3 2200G, but Computer Upgrade King was nice enough to send over a Ryzen 5 2400G for me to play around with as well, which we'll be throwing in this system in a later video. So be sure you're subscribed if you wanna see that. But let's go ahead and talk about what you get inside this PC. As mentioned, this is a small form factor tower. It is not a mini ITX tower by any means. This is more on the lines of a slim desktop tower, like one of those HP slim towers that you see in some office spaces, but maybe cut that down by a quarter. This thing is very small, don't get me wrong, but it does only house a micro ATX motherboard. This is not a mini ITX setup. As for storage, the default configuration comes with a single 120 gigabyte SSD, which is kind of limiting in my opinion, and one thing that you should consider if you want to have more storage. You do have options, as I mentioned, to customize it with more storage out of the box. And if you were thinking you're going to want more than one drive, I highly recommend opting for a motherboard that comes with an M.2 slot, because the power supply in this system only comes with one SATA power, which kind of makes sense in theory because there really isn't that much room for another drive. You might be able to squeeze another two and a half inch SSD up here somewhere, but in theory, it's really not meant to fit more than one drive. So you do need to consider an M.2 possibility if you are planning on having another drive in a system like this, or you're gonna have to go external. Now, when I originally reached out to Computer Upgrade King, I was just expecting a, hey, they're gonna send me over a sample. I'll play around with it and send it back to them. But what ended up happening was they sent over a lot of information of stuff that they were doing in house in regards to how to optimize a system like this. And after a bunch of research and practice and trial and error from the team over there, they said, over a list of key tweaks that they recommend for this motherboard in this system which I'm going to drop right here which I went ahead and followed to a T. They did help a lot in performance and I did go with the option to add two gigs of VRAM to the Ryzen APU Vega graphics mainly because 
Two gigs of VRAM, while be it taking it away from your system memory, will greatly improve your gaming performance. If you're less concerned about gaming performance, then you could opt for just having one gig of VRAM. But if you are interested in playing titles that actually may demand some extra VRAM, you probably are just gonna have to sacrifice those two gigabytes and only rock six gigs of RAM in this setup. With this stock setup, I wasn't able to really overclock the GPU much more than its stock frequency. To prevent any overheating, I had the GPU core clock set to 1100 megahertz and the core voltage dropped down from 1.1 volts to one volt. This is something that they tested in house and basically proved that it was the best Best optimal scenario for this system in particular because when you're dealing with a case with a very small footprint heating can become a major issue now I know a lot of you are concerned about gaming so I went ahead and tested three titles Fortnite PUBG and CSGO three titles that kind of represent the three different ranges of demand that this system might be able to be put under and get favorable results first up let's just get PUBG out of the way on very low settings at 1080p you were getting a 30 FPS experience but you know what was very surprising it was a very solid locked 30 FPS. It wasn't very stuttery. This system does a great job at not being stuttery and having a really smooth experience even at lower frame rates. It's very impressive. Normally when I get a system that underperforms in PUBG, it's a stuttery mess. You're dropping from 30 to like 5 FPS to upwards of 8 FPS and all the way down to 2 and then back up to 30. But this stuck around in the 30s, maybe dipped down to 28 here and there, but did a really good job at holding a steady frame rate. So I was kind of expecting better performance in other titles that are easier to run. So we switched over to Fortnite, which had medium settings with 720p textures, was pretty much locked at 60 FPS. It's not super pretty, but it is very playable. And again, for a system this size and price, it's really all you can expect. And then we decided to test CSGO, which again was well over 60 FPS with no issues or stutters to speak of. Now the main reason I tested only three games for this system was basically because I was going to be doing a lot more of a gaming focused video with the bigger brother, the Ryzen 5 2400G when I upgrade this thing. Because I consider the Ryzen 3 2200G to be a good middle ground for someone who wants to play light gaming, which would be Fortnite or CSGO or games like that, like Rocket League. And the 2400G is really good for people who want to step into some low to medium in gaming while being able to hold over the upgrade path to eventually upgrade to some something like a dedicated GPU. So it may be kind of a weird configuration in something like this, which does not support a dedicated GPU upgrade, but it will still be really cool nonetheless to test this in a future video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But overall, I am very impressed with this little PC. While it's not super compact, it's still compact enough to really impress me and get very favorable cooling results. And I'm really impressed with Computer Upgrade King as a whole. They're making some really good products over there. And I highly recommend if you're looking to go pre built to consider some computer upgrade king options they have full-size desktops that are very favorably priced and there are a lot of other creators on this platform that have made videos from them that have shown that their performance per dollar is off the charts they make really good systems for the money and it's a good option to consider this if you're looking to get a higher end system in the midst of this gpu shortage and ram price hike and that about wraps this video up here guys if you like this video leave a like down below and comment ryzen 3 in the comment section down below if you made it this far let me know in the comment section down below as well what games you want to see me test with the Ryzen 5 2400G in this PC. I'm very interested to try a couple of extra titles out along with the ones that I've tested before. And if you're interested in picking up this PC or just a Ryzen APU in general, there will be links in the description down below to start shopping today. Hope to see you on the next video guys. Peace out.